Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to add GoDaddy domain to your ClickFunnels account and how you can connect GoDaddy domain to your ClickFunnels. So we're here in ClickFunnels 2.0. I will also show you how to do this in ClickFunnels 1.0 as well in this video. So first of all, let me just show you on 2.0. It's really quick, really simple. Go to Site and Funnels here. And on Site and Funnels, go to your domains and on domains, click connect existing domain. Here, type in your domain, let's say this is your domain, click continue, and then you will need to go add domain. Now here, once you click add domain, what you will need to do is you will need to start domain setup. Here on start domain setup, you will need to click and add GoDaddy as your domain, uh, basically host hosting, right? So click here, and now it's analyzing your domain, you need to select DNS provider manually, your setup is ready to go, and here you need to go and type in GoDaddy. Now once you click on GoDaddy, you will be able to go and log in into your GoDaddy and authorize this with your GoDaddy account. This is how simple it is in ClickFunnels 2.0. But when it comes to ClickFunnels 1.0, you need to log in into your GoDaddy account, you need to click drop down arrow in the upper right hand corner of your dashboard and select my products from the drop down menu. As you can see, this is how it will look like. Click my products, scroll down to the list of all products and services and click the DNS button on your domain. Now, once you click the DNS button, if a C name with a name www exists, edit the record by clicking the paper and pencil icon to the right of the record right here. Now under the points to field, enter target.clickfunnels.com and click save. Um, you know, so one, once that is done on the same page, scroll down to the forwarding settings and click the paper and pencil icon. Important note, DNS service can sometimes take up to 48 hours to update your CNAME record. So make sure that you understand this, but it typically takes not more than a few hours and even one hour, you know, max. Now under forward to select HTTPS slash, and then here click permanent 301. Now, once you've done, done that, enter your domain.com in the field to the right, which is this right here, and uh, replace the your domain.com portion with the actual domain, right? With your actual domain. Then, then under forward type, select permanent 301, which is this right here, as I said. Then select update my name service in DNS settings if presented as an option. And that's pretty much it, right? Then you need to click save. And then the step two is adding your domain to ClickFunnels. So go to your account settings, go to your domains and select add new domain right here. And then let me just, you know, show it like this and then click use an existing domain and type your domain right here. Click add domain and also click this domain is registered on Cloudflare. Um, you know, if your custom external domain is currently managed in Cloudflare, you'll need to indicate this by clicking the box uh, right here. Now this is only if it is managed by Cloudflare. Now select add domain and then you need to verify the, uh, you know, your external custom domain. Now, as you can see, if this is your first time adding domain, you will get a pop-up with your domain information, which you can review and close. And then if you want to select a funnel from the list in the drop down menu and click associate funnel, you can also do that and then associate funnel with that domain. Now, if you associate a funnel to your domain at this time, the default and 404 error pages will auto populate with the first step of your funnel. So that's pretty much it, right? And if you want, uh, if you would rather associate a funnel with your domain at a later time, you can skip this step and just by selecting, just show me my domains, right? And that's pretty much it. You can also click on domains on the left sidebar to navigate back to the main screen. And then here you can see if your domain is verified or not. Now that's pretty much it. You can also add the SSL to your external custom domain. If you already not have SSL installed, you should have it. But if you don't have, you can go to click the three dots next to your external domain and then click edit. And then next to SSL, click expand. And then you will be able to add SSL. Wait about 10 to 15 minutes. It's usually around 30 minutes as well. And then, you know, you will get a success and you can return and click expand and check now for the SSL. And then when successful, this is a success message right here. And that's pretty much it. Um, so that's pretty much how to add GoDaddy domain to ClickFunnels. It is a little bit more extensive process than usual um, tutorials and usual processes. But I hope this video helps 
Uh, nonetheless, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.